Hi, Drew McCoy here, project lead at Respawn Entertainment, here to answer some of your questions with Wired's Apex support. All right, let's get into it. First question is from Welp Played. I think that's a play on the words of well played. What are your pro tips for Apex? A lot of times I feel like I made the right moves and I'm still one step or one shot behind. How do I get to that next level with a gif of Caustic, the toxic trapper? Honestly, it's about time played as well as thinking ahead. You say you think you make the right moves and then you're still one step or one shot behind. You have to be able to anticipate, know the map, know your character, know your teammates' characters, know your weapons, and uh, be thinking ahead, strategize. Don't just mash ready up for the next match. Think about how your previous match went and what you could do better on the next one. But as your parents always told you in piano lessons, practice makes perfect, so keep at it. From the Knights Templar, at Tanner Webster, he asks, at Play Apex, so I play on PS4, but I got a cast today. Any tips? You know, I'm looking at your cast there, the Knights Templar, and I'm not seeing any reason to have any excuses for subpar performance. Both of your index and middle finger are fully operational, as is your thumb, so you can operate both R1 and R2 and the right thumbstick and all the face buttons, so get out there and get some of those wins, please. Next up, we have It's Wolferath at Yo Boy Wolfereth. That's a really good name. Wait, what's an heirloom and how do you get one of those? So an heirloom is an incredibly rare set of drops you can get out of an Apex pack. It's a less than 1% drop rate, so it's very rare. And currently it is a set of items for Wraith. I bet if you looked it up on YouTube, you'd find numerous videos. They are not gameplay enhancing. It is purely cosmetic to show off how baller you are to your friends. Hope you get one. Next we have a question from Rose slash Mrs. Rose War V. So the real question for Play Apex is, what is Bloodhound's bird named? This might be a world's first. I have been informed that Bloodhound's bird has a proper name of Arthur. Olivia, at Olivia Slays. What kind of stats are considered good for Apex? I'm still lost in how to rate how I'm doing, lol. Honestly, the stat that matters most is how full your heart is whenever you revive a teammate. This is a team game, it's about being friendly, and it's about sharing. So if you're getting fulfillment from that, I think you're doing just fine. Who's the best character in Apex Legends? The real answer is there is no such thing as a best character. They're all my favorite children, but honestly, Lifeline is my favorite and my best. She has what I consider to be the most powerful ability with the care package because I love loot. Skull Vix at Big Mac 7061 is asking, remember him? Feel old yet? You know what? That's not half bad. I like that meme. And yes, I feel old. We have a question from Boo Zix. It says, hey, can we have a replay mode so we can play around with camera angles and create context? Hashtag Apex Legends, at Play Apex, at Respawn. Unfortunately, we do not have any comment for future features or content in the game right now, but if you stay tuned, we have a lot more coming to Apex Legends. I wish I could tell you more. At CDEPC. Yo, at Play Apex, I made hashtag Bloodhound if she revealed her identity. What do you think? Am I actually close? We specifically have made Bloodhound a very mysterious character. So much so that I don't even know what Bloodhound looks like under all that gear. So your guess right now is as good as mine. J7Z with a little airplane emoji. Honest question, do we think Apex has a good chance of having a big comp scene? For those of you who don't know, comp means competition, AKA esports. So we have a lot of players who are really into Apex Legends right now, and they are absolutely stunning at the game. We have a desire for players to play our game at such high levels, but currently we don't have any plans to announce for any competitive scene, but we definitely do keep our eyes out on what people are doing and what they're asking about. Tal Talon, cough, comma, at respawn please, cc at dko5, that's me. And it's a Reddit thread and it's a suggestion. When you kill the last person in the game, make it so they don't die, but instead go to a down state so we can use our finisher move to win the game. That sounds like a pretty good idea to humiliate your enemies. I'll make a know that. Next is a question from It's Red Jedi. Time to give at Play Apex a go. Let's see what all the fuss is about. Any tips? Question mark. Hashtag Apex Legends Battle Royale and a screenshot of him on a PlayStation 4. Yes, tips for new players. Finish the tutorial, teach a lot about how to use the ping system and some other abilities of the game. And more importantly, once you're in the game, use that ping system. It lets you communicate quickly with teammates, find loot, share loot, and just overall have a really fun time. At Kyle Vettovelli, question is, how many Apex packs do you have to open in order to have every item in the game? Hashtag Apex Legends, with a D in there. Cool. The answer is, I don't actually know because we are constantly adding more stuff to the game. Currently, I believe we have over 1,900 items in the Apex packs, so you can do some math, but we also have crafting currency in there with the crafting metal. So honestly, 
Just open what you want and keep playing the game and having fun and showing off to your friends and all will be right in the world. Have fun. Next up, Pawnee Hoff. Question is, is this a record at Play Apex? My new lowest time, 10 minutes. Ooh, face. That's pretty dang impressive. I haven't checked out any stats lately, but I would not be surprised if that's near the top. So you probably want to secure your place and keep going even faster. Next question comes from Nexus. Question, are we going to see leaderboards in the future? I can't keep track of how many wins I have. You know, that's a pretty non-subtle humble brag there that you have so many wins you just can't hold them all. Some of us are out there slumming it with single digit wins, so just keep that in mind. Leaderboards have definitely been asked for a lot as well as additional stat tracking. You can keep requesting features and things you would like to see in the game and we are definitely listening. Just keep talking to us and we're going to keep working on the game and adding stuff that hopefully you really enjoy. Next up is a question from Dennis Duthet at Play Apex, asking the hard questions. Why does Lifeline have a drumstick in her first finisher? It doesn't seem to fit her character. Is it not a drumstick? No, it absolutely is a drumstick, and Lifeline loves music. Actually, if you watch her run when she doesn't have a weapon, she's kind of jamming along like she's playing drums already. So she's got a constant beat in her head, and she's just trying to share that love of music with her enemies. Next one comes from True Agitator. At Respawn, is cross console going to happen? Question mark. We don't want to comment on specificities of future features or content right now, but I can say that crossplay is something we really care about and we are looking into because we know that people have friends on all sorts of platforms and you really want to go into the arena and get some wins together. So stay tuned. Next up, we have a question from Kool-Aid Man. So my question is, why is Lifeline dual wielding pistols? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Those aren't actually pistols. What he is referring to here is one of Lifeline's banner poses where she has actually holding two of the syringe models and wielding them as if they were cool revolvers and she was a cowboy from the 1800s. Next is a question from Kaz at Play Apex. Question, colon. Does the win with full squad tracker only count wins when the entire squad is alive? Or is it total wins with that legend? Because if it's total wins when it's bugged and not counting properly. I believe it is total wins with an entire squad still alive when you get the win. There is a separate stat tracker for wins with a particular legend. Hopefully I've clarified that. If not, we might have a bug. Please report it. Damien Watts at Damien Watts 8 at Play Apex. Is this going to be on Switch anytime soon? If so, when's the release date? If the Switch was coming, we would tell you and we would blast it across the world. We are hearing all the Switch players who say they want the game. I can't make any promises right now. We have a lot of things that we're working on, so stay tuned for anything future, but currently we don't have anything to announce. Next up, we have Tito the Boss. At Play Apex, are there any plans for a new map? I think a city-based one or a snow one would be sick. Currently, we have not announced any plans for a new map, but I agree with you. Snow maps are always awesome. And my favorite map from our previous games, uh, Titanfall and Titanfall 2, was Angel City. So I think you and I, we got this. We know exactly what's good. So thanks for the note. Next up, we have a question from Evan B. Wilker at Play Apex. Just found this little puppy in the training map. Any comment? Question mark. Uh, emoji with no mouth and hmm, thinking emoji. Yes, that is a little corgi. Uh, we have very talented and loving of their pets, designers and artists here at Respawn, and they tend to pepper all sorts of great little Easter eggs around our games. I'm glad you found that one, but there's a lot more to find, so keep looking. All right, next comes to us from Apex Legends Intel. Question time. What kind of scenery would you like to see in future Apex Legends maps? I would personally love a snow themed one. I love hearing all of your thoughts on the game. Let's chat in the replies. Hashtag Apex Legends. So this seems like we have a, th a theme here of people wanting snow maps. Interesting. Again, we haven't commented on any future map plans, but we love hearing your guys' suggestions. We know that you guys are playing the game a lot and you have really strong feelings. So please share those feelings with us. We want to listen. Thanks. Next message comes from at Rat Patootie. Uh, ha ha, uh, Rat Patootie, got it. Can we talk about how Apex Legends has two LGBTQ plus characters? Gibraltar is gay and Bloodhound is non-binary. Props to at Respawn for making progress in the gaming industry. We need to see more of this hand clapping emoji. Yes, yeah, that is true. Gibraltar is gay and Bloodhound is non-binary. And uh, we think diversity is incredibly important, not just in games, but in the world. To be aware of everyone. We're all humans and we all feel things for people, and that's great. So when we started out on Apex Legends, we knew we wanted to have a cast that was as diverse as the people who play it. We're really excited by the response we've gotten. Uh, it's been really positive, and you can expect more of that from us in the future. So thanks for playing. And now we're gonna delve into some YouTube comments. First up, Emiliano S. would like to know, which is better, R301 or Prowler with Select Fire? Personally, 
I'm in love with the Prowler, especially with a select fire. It does a ton of damage, it's pretty accurate, especially if you've got some attachments on it. And I also just love the way the gun sounds. It feels really good and meaty. Both can be very versatile in almost any situation. Slight upside to the R301, you can change its rate of fire to single shot. So if you're trying to get a little bit longer range, it's gonna be easier with 301 than with a Prowler, either with select fire or not. So, a little pro tip for you there. Naz on YouTube would like to know, can you shoot while sliding on the hills? And the answer is an resounding yes. It's one of my favorite things to do. I love sliding down a hill and revealing an enemy who is behind cover and taking them out like I'm some awesome rock star with a gun instead of a guitar. I don't know, it's weird, but I like it. Channel 3224392 would like to know, is two wins for level five without playing with friends good? Anytime you get a win is a good day. I don't care if it's with friends or not. Keep at it, have fun. Scott Adkins, his question is, has anyone noticed when respawning a downed player badge, there will sometimes be an option to, quote, hide player badge, quote? Does anyone know what the fuck that means? Yes, so that means you're spectating through the eyes of another player on your team, and we put the banner card up on the screen so you can see how awesome they are and uh, how many cool things they've unlocked for their banner cards. But if you don't want to see that stuff and you just want to see the game, we let you hide it so you can get a full view of what your teammate is doing. Another question on YouTube from, I'm just a random person. I think we're all just random people, so welcome. Question, do you need a backpack in this game like PUBG? Please, 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 no. I hate them. Edit, another cue. Are there gun rareness like Fortnite Green, Blue, Epic, but for this like levels or something, or is it just guns, but all the same type do the same damage? So question one, you do not need a backpack. It is highly advantageous to have a backpack because it means you can carry more ammo, more meds, more ordnance, all sorts of things. So if you see a backpack, please pick it up. Uh, or ping it for a buddy so they can pick it up themselves. And the second question about rarity of weapons, no. All weapons do the same damage, so every time you pick up an R301, it's gonna do the damage of an R301. We do have some gold tier weapons uh, scattered around the map where they have attachments on them and you cannot take them off. So it's like a fully kitted weapon, so it has a barrel and a stock and a optics on it already, uh, but they don't necessarily do more damage. They're just one that has been fully kitted up. Starco is asking, how do I enable the grenade trajectory? The grenade trajectory he's talking about is this arc that shows you where your grenade's gonna land. And if you just press and hold the trigger, it'll draw that line so you know where your grenade's gonna land. And then when you let go, follows that arc. Pretty cool. Next is a question from Darkblade. What's that thing you can revive yourself with? So we have a couple of legendary tier items that you can pick up throughout a match, whether that's a backpack, a shield, or a down shield. And uh, I believe it's the down shield that lets you self-revive when you're knocked. There's been some really funny videos of enemy teams in the final circle of a match not realizing that the enemy they just knocked is self-reviving themselves to come back and wipe out an entire squad for a win. It's great fun. All right, everyone, that wraps it up for Apex support with Wired. I really appreciate all the questions. We love how much you guys are playing the game and loving it. And uh, keep sending your questions along. We love hearing from you guys. Thanks a lot.